Hello my friends and welcome to another video with me Steve England Outdoor Learning. I'm having a river kind of day today and uh, I'm just walking along the river to collect some bits and pieces and I've seen some mushrooms that uh, are really interesting so I thought I'd film you guys a video. I'll turn the camera around. So look I'm just walking along the river there's somebody coming along there. Ted come back please look and I saw this log with all these mushrooms on. Look, you see them there? Look at that lot there. Loads. And they're gone all the way along this log. There. So I thought I'd come and check them out and see what's happening. Now one of the things that I do notice on these mushrooms uh, is initially they look very similar to a mushroom species called the glistening ink cap. Sorry, let me just... Glistening ink cap mushrooms, because glistening ink cap mushrooms, when they're young, have a white powdery cap on them, um, a white powdery cap. And can you see it's got powdering on it? You see it there? See that white powdering? And that's one of the indicators. And if it is a um, glistening ink cap, the gills will be white when I turn it over. Yeah. So I'm 100% that these are called glistening ink caps. And the thing is with ink cap mushrooms, as they mature, the gills tend to darken. So if I'd see a more mature one, yeah, they're still white. But as they mature, they darken like that, like you see. And it's still got a powdery cap on. Teddy, come back. Come back here. Uh, so they've got uh, the darker gills. So I'm 100% certain that what I've identified here are glistening ink caps. You can see the powder on the top of them all along that. So these mushrooms are an edible species and they're edible and good. Um, but this is not for people that haven't done foraging before because there are lots of um, other species that look similar that are classed as inedible and give you an upset tummy. And we don't want that. But glistening ink caps mushrooms are really nice. Oh, wow. I got a real mushroom hit to them. It's like a delayed fuse. And the mushroom kicks in really nice in salads. But again, this one comes with a warning, guys. Don't try this if you don't know what you're doing. Or you can't separate the lookalikes because there's lots of other ink caps that are not edible. Oh, the mushroom flavour is really kicking in. And also I found some other species. So I'll give you a quick mushroom tour. On my river walk. Have a look. So we've got an old log there, and I've got to be honest, this has quite surprised me what I found here. Look, this species of mushroom here is called a wrinkled peach cap mushroom. Now I always assumed and read that they're host tree with dead elm. But this is a sycamore, so I guess uh, it's favoured host is elm. But being a saprotrophic species means it feeds on dead organic material. So it's feeding on dead wood. And then we have the jelly ear mushroom, the wood ear mushroom. And uh, Paul Stemmons, the um, world famous mycologist, I watched one of his videos the other day and he was saying that new research has found that the wood ear mushrooms um, contain anticoagulant properties. And a lot of people that were eating these mushrooms um, somehow um, got injured and what have you and they, they really struggled to stop bleeding. And they worked it out that it was because they were consuming lots of jelly ear mushroom and the anticoagulant properties of this mushroom were stopping them from um, clogging up their bleeding. So you've got to be mindful of that, but this is an edible mushroom. Um, it's like eating cold jelly, but in, in small quantities it's good. This one is best dried and powdered. So that's that one. And then I saw another one here. Just here, this one here. This is a beautiful one. This is the candle snuff fungi. Remember the coral fungi family? And I thought for a minute, and <laughs> yeah, sorry about the humor. That's the orange peel fungi, duh. So there's loads of mushrooms along here. I was expecting to see a scarlet elf cup mushroom, um, but I don't really want to. Here's another one. That's woodwort fungi there. That's the woodwort fungi. And if I follow along on these logs, not much else going on, but there you go. 
a nice little river walk. I'm off now to see if I can find a species of mushrooms, uh, the velvet shank mushroom, which its dead, uh, its favourite host is dead elm. And I'm going to get some garlic as well, because I want to make some garlic mushrooms. Woo, in my risottos. Anyway guys, I just wanted to share this river adventure with you. Take care. <laughs>